Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I will show you how to use the Candy Skies Iridescent Film Set from Sparkle & Co. that came in the July 2021 subscription bag. Um, it's literally super simple. I'm going to follow the instructions that come in the little card that came in this pack. Um, this swatch, all I did was two dips of um, DP37 Midnight. And you're going to need tweezers, you're going to need foil gel and gel top coat, some sharp small scissors, your iridescent film set instructions. I'm going to show you actually two ways to do this. I'm going to show you without um, putting it on cardstock to like bend it to shape the nail. And then I'm going to show you how to do it with that as well. But first, all you're going to do is cut little pieces off of it, whatever size you want. If you want it to cover the full nail, cut like an oval shape to go in the middle. I like the little shard look. That's what I'm going with. Um, and so all I did on this swatch is two dips with normal dip liquids of midnight. And then I am, I solidified it and I buffed it just to, you know, kind of shape it a little bit. And that was it. I didn't solidify again. It's just the one coat of solidify. And so you're going to do a coat of foil gel. I did this coat a little bit thicker because I wanted to see the difference of like a little bit thicker versus thinner coats. Um, but this is just one coat of the foil gel and you are not going to cure it. And you're going to take your tweezers. Be careful. Try not to bend the foil because it'll show up. Um, but then I'm just pushing it down where I want it to go, checking it to see if it's laying flat. It's not in this little spot, so I'm just going to push that back down a little bit more just so it'll stick. And I'm happy with it, so now I'm going to pick up the next piece. And I didn't really place them in any particular order. Um, you can do it whatever you want, and you can do it over any color as well. It'd be really pretty over like a sheer pink or a white. Um, really any color but I did black because I feel like it'll show better but as you can see how much it changes the color like on the white it looks like the pinkish purple blue but on here it's like a bluish green or what shows but just placing them wherever you want the random pieces to go and just pressing it down and then I'm going to check it to make sure there's nothing sticking up and they're sticking up a tiny bit and this is probably why they recommend um, putting it on a you know, piece of cardstock or a business card first and then curing it for a few seconds. But I'm going to try it without. So now I'm curing that for like 10-15 seconds. And now I'm going to go with one more coat of the foil gel. And this just kind of ensures that it's down in place. That if there's any ridges or gaps that that foil gel is kind of seeping into that. So that way it's an even you know, flat, even surface. That way there's not any like bumps or anything in the nail. So just going over with one coat of the foil gel and also the business cards. It comes, the little pack from Sparkle & Co comes with, I think mine had, I want to say around 19 sheets, different iridescent sheets in there. And then, um, it comes with business cards and a little card with directions on how to use it or instructions, I should say on how to use it. But super simple so now that I cured that for 30 seconds I'm gonna go in with my final coat of gel top coat and just a nice even coat and this is just regular gel top coat and then I will cure this one for 60 seconds and mind you your curing time might depend on your lamp my lamp is 128 watts but I always cure my top coat for 60 seconds 45 to 60 seconds typically 60 seconds but that's curing, so what I'm going to do now is just cut out, this is the little card that came in the set, one of the many that comes in there. So I'm just going to cut off some more pieces because I'm going to show you guys again over gel base, like over pol you know, regular gel polish. Um, I'm going to show you how to apply it while you cure it on the cardstock so you can kind of see the difference. But just cutting a few pieces and bending my cardstock. And now I'm going to take my gel top coat and I'm going to brush just a super, super thin layer. And you want to make sure it's a no wipe top coat or the iridescent film pieces are going to stay stuck to it. They're not going to come off. So 
this is just to help kind of curve them, curve the film set. So it'll, you know, kind of fit the shape of a nail. So I'm just kind of placing them on there right on top of that wet gel top. And then I'm bending it so that way it kind of bends the pieces a little bit. So they'll form around the nail, like the natural curve of the nail. And this is the finished one on top of a dip. As you can see, it was super easy to use, super smooth. It's all flush, like we like it. And that's over dip. And so now, and that's without bending the little film set. So now this is just two coats of gel little black dress from Sparkle & Co. And all I did was two coats of that, cured them, and then I took an alcohol covered um, lint free wipe and just buffed off my tacky layer. Now you don't have to do that, but that's what I did. And so now I'm going in with a thin coat of our foil gel. And I'm just kind of rubbing it on there. Oh, and as you can see, I only cured that piece of cardstock in my lamp for about seven seconds. Um, and you'll see how easy they are to get back off of there. And it's because it's a no wipe top coat on that cardstock. If it had a tacky layer, it wouldn't have came off that easy. But pushing this down, and I'll show you what it looks like, how it lays super flush. So you could kind of use the cardstock trick you don't have to um but I feel like it helped a little bit so personal preference on that one and this one's stuck a little bit but it will come off I just have to pinch it my tweezers are kind of bent so it's a little funky but now placing this one on there and you can cut whatever shapes you want you could chrome over these too like it mentions on the card I didn't do the chrome but you could and so just placing those on there, pushing them down, make sure they're laying flat. And now I'm curing that for about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to take another coat of foil gel and we're going to do a full coat just to make sure that everything's nice and sealed. And I feel like it gives it another layer too, so that way it helps like that it's not going to lift off. I don't know if you've ever tried nail stickers or anything where after a little bit you can kind of, you know, the sticker starts to raise. I feel like this extra coat of foil gel kind of just makes sure everything's stuck down and gives you a really nice, smooth finish. Um, and yeah, so that's another coat of the foil gel. Now I'm curing that for 30 seconds. And now that that's nice and cured, I'm going to take one coat of gel top coat and just make sure to get it all nice on there and make sure every little part of the nail is covered. And the foil gel does leave a tacky layer. So even though you cure it, it is cured. It does have the tacky residue, just so you know. But curing that for my full 60 seconds. And this is the set that I used. It is available on the Sparkle & Co's website under newest products and it comes with several of little cards and here's the instruction card and instruction cards do come with it like I said I was pointing to the different times for curing so it just kind of depends on what lamp you're using but I feel like the 10 30 and 60 seconds works pretty well but here's the two finished looks the left one is over dip and the right one is over gel and the one on the right is where I fold it on the cardstock. But I hope this helped you guys. Here's the finished product. Like I said, left is over dip powder, right is over gel polish. Beautiful result. Both of them worked great. Cardstock trick is awesome. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Deuces and smooches.